Hi, welcome to the MMA Else tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use one of our add-ins, the MMA L, as mixed model assembly line. The mixed model assembly line finds the best mixed model assembly production plan, taking an input a list of production order and their feasible resources. It returns the optimal product mix minimizing the product changes. As you can see there are three possible demo to be played. For this tutorial we will starting with demo 1. After pressing the demo 1 button, a new Excel sheet is automatically generated. In this sheet, in column A, there is an explanation of which data to enter for each columns of the tables. Furthermore, there is the explanation of the settings and parameters tabs. Before we started to explain the inputs and outputs tables, let's get a quick look at the settings and parameters tabs. In the settings tab, you have to select cells corresponding to your inputs. In the log and params tab there is a section called warning log, where it's possible to read the warnings log. Furthermore, there is the possibility to set the start plan date parameter, this date corresponds of the date when planning begins. MMAL tables consist of three input tables and two output tables. The first input is the orders table, which contains orders properties, its line and manpower capacity requested to the order and the possibility of overproducibility. Second table describes resources with constraints on bucket level and product bucket level. The last table is referred to the resources calendar and the available line and manpower capacity. When all the data is entered and after verifying that all columns are set correctly in the settings tab, the user just needs to press the compute button, wait a few seconds, at most 30, and see the results. The output is divided in two tables. The first one describes mole planning output. In this table user can find, the order identifier, the product referred to the order, the used resource, the production bucket and the product's quantity produced. The second table shows the output of capacities, in particular it has the resource identifier, the date under consideration and, in that date, values of line and manpower capacity consumed. Moreover, linked to this tables there is a pivot table and two charts. Pivot table shows resources usage through buckets exploding and grouping from resource, products and orders. Instead, the two charts describe line and manpower capacity consumption for a specified resource through buckets. To check if results are robust we can compute the demo to, that as a configuration with, 40 orders, 4 products and 3 resources. Rules don't change, planning has to maintain line and product level for the specific number of buckets, as we can see also with this configuration rules are respected both for resources and products. Moreover, in the demo 3, is possible to add relationships between resources in fact we can build an example with resource 1 as father of resources 2 and 3. Also in this configuration planning as to maintain production levels for product and resource stable for 5 buckets as specified in columns related. Thanks for watching this video and remember to visit our website i4excel.com, to stay updated on all our dims and to contact us.